Now, as a real estate professional, you will need to know how to do a comparative market analysis, very similar to the direct market comparison approach, except with a CMA, we're going to be looking at not only the sold property similar to our subject property, but we will look at active listings that are currently for sale. In other words, the competition for your potential listing. We'll also look at expired listings. Those properties that were for sale, but they unfortunately didn't, they didn't close or never found the right buyer. So they expired and went off the market. So you, you will need to know how to do a CMA. It's very important. And then if you see the terminology BPO, that's a broker's price opinion. A lot of times banks will have you or I do BPOs for them when they're maybe getting ready to foreclose on a property or perhaps they've already foreclosed on a home and they're thinking about putting it back up for sale. They want you to give a broker's price opinion so you can tell them what you think the property be, would be worth on today's market. Now, occasionally you may even see a BPO done for an internet lender who's going to make a loan to someone and they're relying on you to give them a drive-by uh, opinion. So generally with a BPO, they're drive-by situations, but you're still trying to compare what's out there on the market. But with a comparative market analysis or a CMA, you normally do a physical inspection of the property, and then you're going to go back and look at actives, solds, and expireds.